Hello, this is a screen recording that uh, explains a process to follow uh, and get pictures into a PowerPoint presentation or this open office presentation here, um, uh, the way that the template has been set up. So just a quick look at the template, you can see a large image placed as a background with this info box at the bottom. So what we're going to do is replace this image with another. So the first place I go to find an image is Flickr Creative Commons. That's flickr.com slash creative commons and I only search the attribution database. So if we just go back to the Commons um, website, that's what comes up here and you see a, there's a number of different databases. This is the attribution database which are six million and something photos and this is the um, attribution no derivatives attribution share alike, uh, attribution no commercial um, uh, no derivatives and so on I only search the attribution license for the maximum amount of flexibility so we just go back to okay now we're at that page and I'm going to search for a picture of lifeguard okay now remember I found one that I liked all the way, well, I think it was on, that's a nice one, but I'll go back to, uh, I think it was on page two. I liked this one. Okay, so I clicked that one to enlarge it. Now I'm looking at the page with all the information regarding this photograph here. Now the first thing I do is I copy a part of the URL that I'm going to use to name this file when I save it. So if I just select everything after photo slash and copy that, then I come down here and I right click the image, save image as, and I just paste over the top of what's there. You see I have the after the photo slash, it gives me the username, Ilker is the username, slash six seven one six two two six two and that's just the file number now take away the slashes because slashes can't work in file names and I'll just replace the one with the dash so it's the username ilka dash file number and save that okay so you notice uh, there is the downloads done I'll just might as well open it to have a look yep there it is there okay close that so I've got that image in a folder with the file name being everything after the photo slash in the URL, Ilka671, etc. And you can see there's the username Ilka render is the full username, but in the Flickr it's Ilka. Okay, so I have that file. You notice though I didn't go to all sizes, I just downloaded this one. If I click all sizes, it opens up a large version of the picture. I don't need a large version for the PowerPoint, and I like to keep my PowerPoint small. So I just downloaded this medium version. Okay, so we have that file in a folder with a file name that will help us find our way back to this page that has the information about the photograph. The worst thing that can happen is we download a picture that's been freely made available to us and we lose the link to where the picture came from and we can't give credit where credit's due. So that's the reason I copy that part of the file name. All right, now let's go back off to the presentation. Now what I do is I click the photo that's there already. This is if I'm going to replace this photograph. I go up to insert picture from file. Now it was in the travel and tourism folder. You don't need to know this. It's wherever you may have saved it. Uh, and it's in here. And remember Ilka? There it is there. Ilka. And the image has been replaced. The last thing I need to do is put the URL for the image in this box here. That's so we can link to the author. So we take this full URL address, copy, let's get that, copy, back to the tourism uh, presentation, double click into this, select all the text and paste. Okay. So that picture has been replaced now. I'll go to the second slide because I've used that picture over two slides and do it again. The background image here, I just click it so it's selected. The little blue boxes are selected. I go up to the insert picture from file. 
where's Ilka? There it is. And it's replaced the image. Now in this slide, because it's got a big text box over the top of it, I don't bother to put the attribution in there because it's already in this slide here. All right, and I go last thing to the user page and I'm just gonna add that username there. Okay. That'll do. I mean, there's two forms of attribution. I've just listed it here, which is pretty lame, really. Uh, the best one is the direct link to the website. I hope that helps.